Hi everyone, it's me, Helium Lemon, again. Uh, today is June 17th, and we're back on the moon. And enough of this exploring this place. No, I don't know. I like the moon. It's it's very strange. But we're just gonna go as fast as possible to get to this twin mold child. And ugh, ugh, imagine, uh, just imagine that creepy bug mask with like the the pinchers coming out of it and. Not to mention the pincers. Like, that's really creepy, man. So, like, I don't know. So, like, man, like, uh, I'm such a stereotype of myself because I'm like, you know, like, you know, man. Um, what do we want to do today? Well, we are going to, well, this is post-commentary. Uh, we're going to finish the moon. At least, hopefully. No, we will. We're doing the last of the mini dungeons in this video. Uh, again, just admiring how strange the designs and the patterns of all these uh, mini dungeons are. So this is a mini dungeon that's based on like the Hylian Link, normal, not wearing any transformation masks, and and semi based on the stone tower temple but it's honestly just like uh a mini boss kind of gauntlet uh just like the one that we had in uh part 88 or whatever that was oh in a Kana canyon and uh and this way it feels almost like some kind of like Ocarina of Time kind of stuff, like just fighting mini bosses and solving puzzles. Yeah, we got the Mask of Truth. Don't tell us that stupid stuff. We don't need it, man. Here we have the Garo Master, who's kind of like I don't know. Oh yeah, so I I, I really liked uh, pulling out the. I really liked pulling out the Great Fairy Sword on the Dynalphos. Just because it's like, boom, done in one hit. Um, this guy... I don't know, this guy was just... I was trying to jump out of the way of his fiery swords, but it was just... I couldn't for some reason. I always tried to, but maybe it was just harder with the, having the great fairy sword out. I'm not entirely sure. So then it's like, here, have a chest. Also, the door is on the ledge. Well, what do I do now? Oh yeah, get the hook shot out. Get out the hook shot. Again, look at all this weird, like, art and design and stuff on the walls. It's very artsy. It's like, hey, we're making an artsy game here, right? So, yes. So, yes. So, it seems his mother, Madame Aroma, had Cafe's mask. That's such a weird name, Madame Aroma. Um, <laughs> it's like, well, what's it? Is it a pleasant aroma? You know, is it aroma of lavender? You know, what is it? What's the aroma? Oh, here we have iron knuckles. I love iron knuckles. Um, also, you can feel the the rumbling even while you're still on the moon. I don't even know how that makes any sense. I mean, where are you in physical space? Like when you go on into one of these dungeons, like oh yeah, I love iron knuckles because because they feel like classic, like old school, like Ocarina of Time just like heavy hitter kind of fight but like you you f feel like you're f fighting like a really like intense like cool boss that looks really cool and it's covered in all this metal armor uh but like with it still like with a pretty easy pattern and like pretty easy to jump out of the way and still come in and hit it I don't know. I love Oc um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask Iron Knuckles. I'm not sure that I love them in Twilight Princess, especially the room where you have to fight like three Iron Knuckles at once. That's like one of the most w weird, like unfair things in a video game, in my opinion. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's definitely possible, so it's it must not be terrible. Um, so... Oh yeah, and they only give you 10 bomb chews. It's like, every time I do this dungeon, I'm worried about running out of bomb chews because it's like, where are you gonna get more bomb chews? And that's the like, 
danger of having this game on a three-day cycle where you lose all your items every time. It's like, you gotta... Like, if you're going to do a dungeon, you gotta grind for arrows. If you're going to do such and such, you gotta grind for potions. And if you're going to do such and such, you you know, you need to make sure you have all these bombs, bomb chews, magic beans, whatever, go to the specific places and find them. I don't know. I love Majora's Mask, but that's one problem that I always have with it. Grog had the bunny hood. Okay, so that's what happens if you slash the gossip stones with your sword. They kind of freak out, and I think they say, like, what the current time is. And now I'm gonna bomb both of these gossip stones just to be a jerk, just to be a troll, just to be a troll, lol, 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 lol. and, uh, they, like, do a little countdown. Houston, we have a problem. And they blast off. I think that's really, that's really funny and random. So, because it's funny and random, it must be good, so we're gonna keep doing it. Uh, here's the really great bomb chew puzzle. Um, oh, but first... Its words are heard in secret. It seems the owner of the curiosity shop was keeping the something. What was it, the all-night mask? It's like, hey, I'm, I'm out of here, bye-bye. Bye-bye, I'm going to the moon. Oh wait, I'm already on the moon. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Sad face. Sad boy. Sad boy hours. Somebody explain to me what sad boy hours are. No, I'm kidding. Don't. I have... Know your meme for that. Except that website always tries to give me a virus. It's like, what's... What's up with that? So, this... Bomb Chew place is in a really specific hole in the ceiling, and at first I was just trying to place it correctly. Um, but what I usually do is I try to stand in like the center of the room and place a Bomb Chew going from each direction. Uh, which is what I tried to do here, but it wasn't necessary because my first Bomb Chew just hit it correctly. Or my second one actually hit it correctly. No, never mind. I think the next time I try it, my first one just hits it correctly. Um. Yes. No. Maybe. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. See, there we go. Yeah, so, some, so somehow I found the magic spot, like, two bomb chews before I ran out. But like, yeah, it, if you <laughs> if you run out of bomb shoes, tough. Because then you just have to go back to the moon and fight Majora's Mask. So, I love the carpet. The carpet is, the carpet is so spring-like. And then you have the clouds. You have the angry boxes. All right, let's talk to Bugface. This freaking bug face. Let's get out of my face, bug face. So, we're gonna give him all our every last mask. We only have a few dumb masks left. Oh well. The, all the masks that we worked so hard to get throughout the game, we're giving them all away to these random kids with bug faces and creepy fish faces and... Can I ask a question? Your true face. What kind of face is it? I wonder, the face under the mask, is that your true face? No. 